back to Studio 5. It is as real as it gets. Sending a child off to college makes a parent question their every effort. So how can you feel confident your child is prepared for real life? It's the latest topic in our Real Issues series. Studio 5 contributor Connie Sokol has a seven-point checklist to think through before your son or daughter leaves the nest. So we've got kids going to college. We've got kids traveling abroad for humanitarian reasons or LDS missions. And parents start to panic like, are they ready? Yes, exactly. And I think that's the thing is that we start to feel this nervousness of did I teach them everything they should know and I think what's helpful is that even if we haven't done it all the way along we can still anticipate the transition we can still give them some heads up go through a list say what do we need so that there's a calm feeling before they head out. You try though to anticipate the trans transitions throughout their life kind of building up to the big moment. Yeah if possible and just a quick super easy exercise to do is take a piece of paper and just write down the main transitions for your children in your family. For us it's pretty basic 5, 8, 12, 16, 18, 19 and just take your child list those ages and then say okay what are the skills that they're gonna need what that particular child is gonna need. Do they get a little nervous extra nervous do they need a little more preparation a little more attention to these details creating more routines. What it does is add more meaning to what you're doing now mm -hmm. and it gives them a more calm assurance that they can handle whatever's coming because they have a more clear idea of what to expect. Let's jump into your checklist and I joked on the show yesterday she'll be thrilled I'm bringing up it again <laughs> but my little sister is doing the college thing this year and she feels confident she can survive on ramen and tuna. You say cooking is one of those skills <laughs> mom needs to check off the list. Absolutely and you know what this is so easy. What, all the way along what I say is this is just a thought but five real meals five real meals fajitas lasagna so when he's trying to impress that girl he has a go-to <laughs> you know that's really a good thing and then some fast meals five fast meals something like three ways to do a rotisserie chicken so yeah. they buy it at the store they pull it off they can do chicken cheese quesadillas they can put it on me a bread and drizzle some barbecue sauce on it and call it a barbecue sandwich <laughs> or you know easy chicken noodle soup I made this mom to go binder for my son with some easy recipes hold it okay up. it's very hold it simple no 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 <laughs> it's so beautiful can you tell at Pinterest it took me hours but it's black and white because he doesn't want a big flower on it and all I did was just do some basic grocery lists in here and then emergency numbers some social tips some illness re remedies super simple stuff I knew he had it if he needed it and he actually used it which was really exciting a few times but this is the important thing teach him some fast go-to meals I love that title mom to go mom to go binder cleaning is on your list just some yes. basics they need to be aware of basics teach them how to do a deep clean but then a fast clean because then they'll know how to do it and this is the mash principle I've heard that the mash writers wanted to send in a joke and it was they were worried it was gonna pass back in the day I think it was really innocuous but they knew it wasn't gonna pass so they sent in a really raunchy joke first which was completely dismissed and then they sent in the tame one and they were like sure you can do that one. <laughs> so it's the same thing deep clean they clean the house for two hours you teach them how to do a five-minute bathroom clean they'll sing your praise they're going to at least do that they close push comes to shove yeah close next on your list same thing teach them all four stages the wash dry fold and put away now you know at college they're not gonna fold and put away especially boys they're gonna throw it in the corner <laughs> not your problem you've taught them but the main thing is that once they know how to do it you keep that rhythm before they go have one day that there's their laundry day so they know that they know how to put in the wash how to separate they don't put red socks in with the white they learn by experience so when they go to college that rhythm is in place the next C on your list is cash and this is a biggie how to really impart that financial sound yes. wisdom into an 18 year old this and this is about teaching financial literacy and value so not just how to spend money but how to spend it wisely and that's huge like the other day my daughter had a birthday party and we were doing a hula hoop contest and so I called a store and it was $45 for hula hoops I'm sorry I'm cheap I'm not gonna spend that so I called the dollar store and found one that had 10 hula hoops 10 bucks it's a done deal that's what I taught my children which is what's the value of that how much are we gonna use it what's it really gonna be good for right this translates to college because the kids are gonna be there and instead of calling you up and saying, oh I need 50 more bucks you say what can you do I was in college and I needed more money and I had to get resourceful I knew I could not call up and ask for money so I could type and that was back in the day with the manual typewriter and not many <laughs> people knew how to type, type. I did well actually I could go like this but it was pretty scary okay. you kind of do it at certain times but I'm telling you I, I mean it was pretty sad and I had to pay the gal who had the typewriter a commission on each paper but I made you some good money I rented the typewriter and I typed it you and that was girl. back in the day when ma most people didn't know how to type so I made some good money and it was good for me to learn to be resourceful and make some money so when that phone call comes and it may for a lot of folks yes. you reverse the question put it back on them what can Bingo. you do to earn 
that 50 What bucks. can you do? Can you type some papers? Can On your computer. Can you type? Computer. The mom and dad helped you buy. <laughs> I That's love right. it. I love it. All right, next we're talking about the car. Transportation isn't essential. There are ways to teach them really the resourcefulness in this too. Well, absolutely. I think sometimes we, we tend to want to make it so easy for them and make this transition so smooth and convenient. You know, a lot of us old people did not have it convenient. I had we, a scooter. You walked uphill. I walked four miles. I know. Both ways in, you know, in Gucci <laughs> heels. I mean, really. No. <laughs> I'm serious. That's what we t tend to do in this day and age is make it too easy. And then we wonder why they feel entitled. I had a scooter that I rode five bucks for gas a week and I would go to the grocery store and put one bag on the floorboard and I would ride side saddle. I mean it was ridiculous but that got me around and in the winter. Fantastic. Rose my buns off but. My roommate had a scooter too. See. Can I share one yes, moment? Yes please do. Halloween dressed as Winnie the Pooh and Tigger. I won't say who was who. <laughs> We rode the scooter down University Avenue. I swear people are still talking about it in Provo to this day. There's some fun that comes with the scooter. That's right. It was exciting. Oh, I'm telling you, I can't even express how many people you can try to put on a scooter and the, the tires won't pop. But that's it. <laughs> See what I'm saying? Instead of he needs a car. No, he doesn't. A bike, walk, his own, you know, bipedal feet. He can just go and walk. Our sweet son went on, um, he went to an academic high school on a college campus. And before he got his license for a year, he had to ride the bus, which was utterly humiliating. But it taught him how to do bus schedules, how to rearrange what happened when he missed the bus. If he ever goes to a foreign country, he's going to know about public transportation, yeah. and it taught him to appreciate mom and dad, the stellar savers, when we actually had to come in and take him. But we do. We want to jump in and swoop in, rescue, make yes. it easy, make it happy, but really the yes. learning comes in the struggle sometimes, right? Especially So you bring up that age. word entitlement, and this really is the antidote for that. Absolutely. And teaching them, no, you are an adult now, and so what's your solution first? Because I'd love to hear it, you know, and yeah. I trust you can do it. Communication and coping skills are next on your list. Take yes. us through those. Communication, teaching them healthy, good, solid phrases like validation, follow up. One of my favorites is use your voice. And this was huge for me in college. I wanted to do so many different things, but I was afraid. And I think girls, especially, we tend to be timid. Uh -huh. We don't want to ask too many questions. We don't want to seem rude. Um, but teaching them, ask questions, get answers. And it leads you to opportunities. I went to Brigham Young University, Hawaii for a year. It was awesome. And I wanted to go to the other islands, but I had no money and I spent my whole college with no money working working but no money so typing, I, typing typing and typing but I went to the symphonic band director because the symphonic band was going on tour to another island and I walked in the office and this good man I just said I would love to join the symphonic band and go on tour with you guys and he said great what instrument do you play and I said none <laughs> but I am more than willing to learn I mean the poor man just shook his head it was just like oh like another one of these yeah and he did this good man wherever you are he was fabulous taught me how to play the marimba I played wipeout on tour and enjoyed the beautiful Hawaiian sun. I so love it. use your voice and it teaches them that's where you get your opportunities. Use your voice and those coping skills again unfortunately we're out of time but they do mm. come into play. You've got a great list on our website that will yes, refer people to. Yes and also a Motherhood Matters blog post it talks about how you can deal with the coping skills for the change. Just providing that checklist that structure for moms out there I think yes. gives a parenting uh, gives a parent peace of mind. It's so helpful. It yeah. makes you feel not so alone. Hey a great time to talk about your book Motherhood Matters. I still have this on my bookshelf I think was it two years ago? Yes. You wrote this? Yes. And you've got a book bundle offer right now. Yes, and so great for gifts. It's beautiful and boss foil in the front, three for 25, so it's great for gifts. It's beautiful, uplifting. It's the kind of thing you can read on a day you just want to feel great about being a mom. That's the book. Good to give to your mom, your grandparents, even Sisters, girlfriends. Sisters, anyone. Yeah. It applies to all, and it's on our website, ConnieSokol.com or Amazon. Great. Connie, thank you so much. Thank you. We'll be